Hi, I'm Scott Fuller, past president and current board member of the San Benito County Fire Safe Council. San Benito County Fire Safe Council is a nonprofit organization established to provide education and community awareness about fire safety in San Benito County. The Fire Safe Council funds and implements fuel reduction projects and works with the community at large to make their homes, communities, and neighborhoods fire safe. The council is uh, composed of volunteers from federal, state, and local fire agencies, neighborhood groups, and the community at large. You know, one of the most successful programs the Fire Safe Council operates is our residential chipping program. We've been running that for about the last 10 years. That's where local uh, homeowners clear brush from around their property, and the Fire Safe Council provides a contractor to chip and clear away that brush. I'm Cindy Reeves. I'm the Executive Administrator for the San Benito Fire Safe Council. As Executive Administrator, I work for the Board of the San Benito Fire Safe Council. I write the grants and administer the grants, coordinate the projects, and also write all the progress reports for the grant reporting. In 2001, the San Benito Fire Safe Council was funded to purchase a residential uh, chipper, and at that point, um, they started the chipping program there is a need for residents to clear brush around their home. There's a lot of dry brush um, and just the, the areas uh, in a canyon. You have a lot of homes that are in what's called the wildland urban interface. And when you have that, um, those homes that are in those areas, um, there's a risk of fire spreading from one home to another. Um, and so we try to take measures to protect those homes in any way that we can. Urban interface is that point where the wildland vegetation meets up against houses. Uh, the urban interface areas here, it, here it's in San Juan Canyon is a concern for us. There's only one way in and one way out for the homeowners. If a fire does uh, occur here in San Juan Canyon, you know, we have a lot of brushy hillside. We know we have houses along that hillside. And, but the biggest concern is getting the people out as we have uh, fire equipment coming in. Wildland firefighting is, an, is a dangerous uh, occupation. Um, we go out to uh, remote areas, urban areas, uh, areas where people have built into, and we are expected to defend their houses as best we can. What we look for is defensible space. We look for the vegetation cleared from around the house so that we can park our fire engine safely, jump out, deploy our lines, and make a quick assessment of what we have. If the house is over overgrown with too much vegetation, that's difficult to do. We'll make a quick visual assessment and maybe have to move on, and that's because if we stop at a house that has not very good clearance or can't make access to and try to defend it, we're going to uh, be exposed to maximum heat and fire and we still may not be able to save the house or save our fire engine or save ourselves. The bottom line is firefighter safety is the purpose of defensible space. Defensible space is uh, where you create 100 feet of clean and green vegetation around your home. No dead branches, no trees touching your house, um, all the vegetation trimmed and that way uh, there's no dead and decadent fuels around your home that could spread the wildfire from that area to your home. This landowner here has taken responsibility and cleared 100 foot around his home so if a fire comes from the wildland to here it'll drop to the ground where we can handle it on the ground. Uh, when it's out of control in the thick heavy brush up there, it's hard to control. But down here, we can control it. He's thinned out the trees. It looks nice and open through here. He's limbed up every tree to 10 feet. Around his home, there's no trees touching his property. Um, so this is a, a very good defensible space um, example. And he has taken responsibility um, to create that space to help us as firefighters defend his home. We moved here in 1989, and within that year, the canyon burned. We heard the flames, it would burst, a tree would burst into flames and just move quickly. We felt the heat, we could hear it crackle. We feel very blessed and privileged to be in this canyon, but we also, it really brought to home how dangerous it can be and how critical it is that we keep ourselves safe and keep our neighbors safe by keeping our um, landscaping clear. Every community member in San Benito County is eligible to participate in our grant projects, which in this case would be the San Benito Residential Chipping Program. You don't have to remove all the vegetation, especially if there's ornamental vegetation around the home, but just keep a nice clean green area around your home. 
We ask that you stack the brush roadside without any loose material, no wire, no poison oak, or anything that could potentially damage the chipper. Homeowners have to take responsibility for their houses in the urban interface area or even the wildland area. That means that they take it upon themselves that their house is important to them and they want to save it, so they do all the brush clearing around it. For us, when we see that, knowing and the homeowners there, we can actually tell them this is a very good spot for us to defend. We're going to park here and we're going to you know, do the best we can to save your house. And experience tells us that with a 100 foot defensible space, we're able to do that at, at the minimal risk to ourselves and other firefighters. The Fire Safe Council has brought you this video as part of our ongoing efforts to educate the public about fire safety. If you'd like to learn more information or participate on the Fire Safe Council, please contact us at 831-623-1677 or visit our website at www.sbfsc.org. Thank you.